Our next step is to add the menu to the master page, but before we do that, we actually have to have some other pages to point at. So I'm going to uh, just make a couple pages in this one, add some content. And uh, again, we're making this, well, we, we talked to Scott and we modeled this um, after a couple other running stores. Uh, so I'm going to make a products folder, and then I'm going to make a newsletter folder. And then I'm going to make an about folder. He wants to have an about page. And then I'm also going to make an admin folder that we'll uh, use later to put some pages where he can administer his website in this one. And then what I'm going to do is in each of these folders, add a page, add a new item. And I'm going to call it default in each one of these. So I have a default page in the about page. I have a default page in the, I'm sorry, in the admin folder. And one in the uh, newsletter folder. And one in the products folder. And the last thing I'm going to do, and I'll shut this off before, well, I'll just do it. You can watch it or turn it off if you want. I'm going to go through and add a title on each of these pages and a heading so we can uh, differentiate the pages when we start looking at them. So runner soul, and then put products on here. It's the products page. And I'm just going to copy that same title and put it down here as a heading. Okay, so there we go. We've got some pages ready uh, set for the menus.